Alrighty, welcome to Creepy Nibs, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna film this unpackaging thingy, and I'll decide if it's pointless or not, and I may or may not put it in the video. So, here we go. Here they are, here are the things. So what is in this package is, I had to write this down. <clears throat> flat Gothic Parallel Art Flower Body Plastic Word Art Flat Whisper Fountain Pen. I ordered this on the 10th of May 2018. 2018? Yeah, that's, a, that's how you say it. Whatever. Uh, and then I received it on the 29th of that same month. <clears throat> so, that's that. And this one is bent nibs, like fude-ish nibs for my, uh, so they're just pretty much number six nibs. They're intended for a Jinho X750. Okay. So, hmm, let's do the tiny one first, because that one is not as much stuff. Let's see if I have a better time with this packaging than I did my Kakuno. And I believe I did. So, boop. Yeah, there we go. You see? You see it? Well, let me put this back in there so it doesn't... Yeah, can you see? You can see them... Oh, yeah, package that goes that way. Alrighty. I might as well take these guys out. Shloopity boop boop. Alrighty. Three nibs. They're cheap. Okay. Set those aside. And we got this guy. Try and do a peely peel. Might as well just get the razor blade. Razor blade. Okay. And yeah, uh, yeah, this unboxing was kind of toast pointless. But I might put it in the video anyway, just for the fuck of it. I already did the greeting. I don't want to have to do that again. Not that I, like, hate it, but, like, I don't know. I don't say hi to someone twice in the same conversation. All right, so these are all wrapped in bubble wrap. Essentially, these are Jinhao 992s with uh, different stub nibs. I think I got the 1.5 through 2.9, I think they go up to. So this is gonna be fun. I know they sell a lot of these, like, flat, gothic, whisper, parallel, fuckity name pens. Uh, but some of them are in, like, the 599 style that I hate. Uh, but I really like the 992, and it's really awesome that I just got a bunch of clear 992s. With hopefully pretty cool nibs. So these are just in the standard, uh, like cheapo Chinese pen from eBay packaging. They don't get a box, like a pen BBS pen. These are like not even $3 a piece. It was two or nine. Maybe it was $1.50. I don't remember, but these were super cheap. So I'm like, I have no impulse control. So <laughs> let's just get as many as I want. Um, it's too easy. Your advice is to be careful with with your with your purchases. Don't let it get out of hand. You're gonna have a really really bad time. Uh, so let's just, just slip those out. Could have done this all in one go, but I didn't. So let's, these are garbage now. I have no need for any of those. All right. So these got stickers, unscrew and stuff. This one is the 1.5. It's the 1.5. Look at it, you stupid shit. I'm just trying to press the screen from the other side of the camera. Oh my god. This is bad. Alright. 
There we go, 1.5. Maybe this will be better. 1.5, yeah, much better. Okay. Keep these in order. This is the 2.9. Can you see? It's a better. Yeah. This is fat nib. I'm pumped. So that can go at the opposite end of the spectrum. This one is the 1.9. So that can hang out with this guy over here. This one is the 0 0.7. I don't remember ordering that one, but okay. I don't think I did. And it's 2.5. Oh, goody. Maybe they had it listed as 0 0.7, but I thought it was like a 0 0.7 stub, and that would have been pretty neat but it just looks like a regular old medium nib. But still, it should be nice and it's broad and juicy compared to the standard 992 nib, which I have absolutely no problem with. So like, what is? It's totally cool. Um, so, I probably would not help anybody in this video if I didn't write with these. So I will do that at some point. But first, a size comparison. Here it is with the Pilot Kakuno, which I am a fan of, as you could tell from my last excursion. Um, I need to put something white here. Dude, dude. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Okay, is that better? There we go. That's a lot better. Land him up. There we go. Uh. If you're watching this, you probably already know what the hell a Jinhao 992 is, because you bought six of them anyway. Uh, six to twelve. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's a good-sized pen. It's a knockoff of the Sailor Pro Crawler, from what I know. So, yeah, it feels nice. I'm not sure if these guys are glued in place or not. I might have to rectify that situation. Yeah, I can't get my fingernail under there like I could with the other ones, but it does rotate, so I, I can probably pop that out and stick some glue in there in case I feel like I drop ring them. Because with a 2.9 millimeter nib, <laughs> it's, it's going to use a lot of ink. Alrighty. So yeah, see you soon. And by soon, I mean right now. Okay, so what I have done in the meanwhile. Uh, oh, nope, wrong. Okay, so I took the stickers off, which was a not happy experience because <laughs> a bunch of the adhesive stayed behind and was like sticky and I hated it. So I had to do some goo gunning which wasn't actually goo gone. It was duck brand adhesive remover. Um, so I did that, cleaned them, flushed them out, a little bit of dish soap, and then some clean water. Let them sit overnight to dry. Here they are. All the pens. So, I'm not going to review the pens because I can do a Jinhao 992 review later and... There's seven pens here that... No, no, there's eight. There's eight pens here that I'm going to be talking about because I'm going to show it to you with the, the regular nibs on the respective pens. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to try and keep this as un stupid lengthy as possible. So what I'm going to do is instead of filling all of these so I have 
well, don't have seven converters to clean, uh, I'm going to be using this ink, Shaver Script Red. It's great. It's very red, red. Like, you can... <laughs> showing up a little bit brighter on camera but um this is a red red it's not my favorite red that spot goes to another thing that i'm not going to talk about right now uh <clears throat> but it is very similar in color uh but yeah i'm gonna dip test these and since this ink is like bonkers easy to clean out of a pen this is gonna make my life so much easier because i don't need seven pens filled with red that's just why though so yeah there's that so stick that over here give that an uncap also i picked this ink because it's gonna be i would have to really try to knock this over and <laughs> knowing me it's probably gonna happen anyway but whatevs whatevs all right so here's the regular nib on a jihon 992 um, so give that a dip. Wipey dip wipe. I got some on this section. Gotta try not to do that. Cause I already have red ink on my fingers from a completely different pen. <laughs> Alrighty. A little bit of like a, I don't know, like hard starting, hard ending. I don't know. Either way, it's probably just because it's dipped. Uh, there we go. It's probably my angle. Um, so this is fine nib. Stick that over there. Put the cap back on just for fun. There's ink on my finger already. Here we go. All right. This is the 0.7. So, uh, these were actually $1.48 a piece. So, yeah. Good deal. I'm happy about it. So, this is 0 0.7. It's finer, not quite as smooth, uh, because it's drier, it seems. But again, that could just be because of the dip test. So, put that over there, alrighty. 1.5. Dip. Do a little more dip. There we go. Hmm. This is not a very good first impression. What is going on here, dude? Like, what? Dip it in a little bit of water. Let's see. This is not making me happy. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with this nib. Eventually! Okay. So there's that disappointing experience. I should have tried these out before I filmed this, but I didn't. For reasons unexplainable by mortal knowledge. Alrighty, 1.9.
Hmm. Again, same problem. It's not writing. Well, this is apologies for this monstrous failure. <laughs> hmm, not happy. Not like mad about it though. Like I said, these were not even a dollar fifty a piece. Maybe it'll be better if I filled it. Hold that in there a little bit. And get some capillary action for the feed. Because it doesn't look like there's any ink making it into the feed. Just around the nib. Oh, the... <laughs> Sorry. That was... Can we focus on this? Thank you. But yeah. See, there's some ink behind the nib and around there. But there's none in the feed itself. I don't know. It's a thing. So. Oh, this one writes better, seemingly. Might have been better if I used a thicker ink. Yeah, this is kind of painful. <laughs> I think it might have something to do with the feed as well, because as you can see there, there, uh, this feed was not made for nibs like this. So there's a lot of space in between. So that's probably got something to do with it. Anyway, I'll, I'll do an addendum at the end of this whole shebang. Uh, I got a little clip of me having actually filled these and written with them. So... <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Well, if you drip ink onto the page, you can push it around with the nib. <laughs> but you can't take it any very far at all. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah. I won't even write that. Okay. Um. That was, uh... Disappointing the least <laughs> but here we'll have better luck with these I hope all right this is the Jin Hao X750 with its medium yeah I spelled that right <laughs> so yeah 
that. This is fantastic. You can fill that in. Yeah, so the ink is definitely not the problem. And now, for the nifty food nib. Get you a better look at that. Yeah, that's got an awesome upturn. This is going to be a fun time. Alrighty. Yeah! This is smooth as fuck. I love it. Ah, this is a satisfying ending to this writing sample hellscape. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> this is, I love this. This is awesome. So we'll do like a, let's see what we can do with, yeah. You could do all sorts of stuff with this. This is going to be incredibly fun. Alrighty. Okay, so there's that. Um, thankfully, that was less misery inducing. So, I am going to fill up a couple of these stub nibs. And we're going to see what happens with that. Okay. Hooray! I have succeeded in my mission. Um, yes, finally, was able to write with these. Um, really, the only problem was the tines were too close together, so there's no ink flowing through at, at, at all, as you could tell from my earlier test that you just saw me do. Um, so yeah, it took like about an hour and a half to get all the pens to do stuff. <laughs> um, it didn't seem like an hour and a half. It seemed like just half an hour or so. But time flies when you are tuning pens. At some point, so much ink dripped out that I got Sheen from Schaefer Red. Uh, it's like this... It's a brown Sheen. I, that's the best way to describe it. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Because, make sure you got one of these guys. This is just cheapo loop from Amazon. It was like, what, three bucks? I don't know. It was mega cheap. Uh, and that was perfectly adequate for making sure my alignment was good and that I didn't spread the nibs too far and tines, not nibs, nibs and tines and etc. Um, but yeah, I ended up being able to write this with no skipping, no real hard starting. I might have had to go over a couple spaces once. I mean, that's probably just for me trying to do a hairline there. But yeah, each line is a different pen. So this was the 2.9, 2.5, 1 1.9, and then 1 1.5, and then this was done with the 0.7. Uh, there's still, <laughs> there's still a stain on my thumb from me trying to, like, you know, because if you've seen that Esprit R.E. Brown, S-B-R-E Brown, yeah, okay, um, video where he tells you how to make a nib letter in seconds, I'll link it down below. Um, what you do is just take it and you just press it gently. You don't want to 
go ham. Um, but like, do a couple times on your thumb, check with the loop, write with it on the paper, and then everything should be good to go. Um, and I only had to use one converter. So I gotta, I still have to flush them all out. And I did blame a lot of stuff on the dip test when that should not have been part of the problem at all. And if I had used my brain for more than half a second, I would have realized that that was completely stupid of me to assume. So, yeah. So now I'm really happy with these. These are pretty good. I'm going to use them pretty often. And, I mean, they kind of force you to go slow because I, I don't want to go crazy on the wetness. Um, since they're going to be putting down quite a bit of ink anyway. Uh, where was I going with that? I don't know. Anyway, something about these converters. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah. Um, these are super juicy inside. Like, these were never used. I just took them out of the pen, and I'm not sure... Yeah, you can see some of it there. These are greasy as fuck. I don't... Just... Whoa, because... Oh, uh, this one I must have wiped off already. Let's see, one of these is not clean. Yeah, look at how easy this ring slips off. It's just whoop, and then... All of that grease. All of it. It's... Just, yeah, go wipe that off. Uh, probably with some soap and water, too. Um, but yeah, see, again, it just whoop. And you don't want to lose these. So, that's a thing. I don't know if it will turn out to be detrimental in any way, shape, and or form. But, there we go. So yeah, I was able to get these pens to write. Took a little bit of effort, but if you know what you're doing, it's not its not hard. Uh, I tried to uh, widen the 2.9 with a brass shim at first, and that was just, that was not enough. It was like, I, th I thought that I was going to end up cutting the brass sheet because of how tight the tines were. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just do the little thumbnail trick. She'll work just fine. It only took a couple presses. Um, so that's that. And no harm done. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this experience and that it was helpful or entertaining in some capacity. And...